Now I've got a son, his name is Campbell. He's 16 years old. And uh, much like many of you that have children, there's always that, that pool time. I w lived in South Florida for 20 years. So you live in the pool or you're gonna die from humidity, right? And so there was always that time like, okay, the floaties come off. You're excited as a dad. You're like, oh, freedom, woo. I think I was more excited about the floaties coming off than he was, right? But the floaties are coming off. And then you get them on the edge of the pool, you get them on the side and you're like, all right, here we go. Now we're going to do the jumping in piece, Campbell. And you're really excited. And he's super scared. And I'm sitting there going, dude, I I'm here. I'm thinking in my mind, like, what are you scared of? Of course, in his mind, he just sees like 40,000 miles of pool water in his little mind. So he's scared. So as a good father would do, I say to him, it's okay, I am here. I don't have to say it once, but I've actually got to say it twice, sometimes 10 times, sometimes 20 times. And then you feel like you're doing this little like, uh, da, 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 and then you're like, uh, two hours later, you're still not jumping in. So then you take it to the next level. Not only am I here, but there's a reminding of him as a three-year-old, you're my brave boy. I know you can do it. You're not afraid. And the combination of saying I am here and reminding him of who he is, all of a sudden, the moment, right? He risks. But there's something beautiful when we embrace God's plan and not ours. His plan definitely will seem like his ways are not our ways. So his plan is definitely gonna seem a little out of left field, but his plan is always right on time. His plan is always strategic. Next, fight with everything you have and don't stop fighting. If we don't, what's going to happen is we're gonna look back at the legacy of our life and go, man, I missed that one. Man, I could have helped that one. Man, why did my son have to go through that? Man, why did my daughter have to go through that? And that's the part that I'm preaching to myself is, man, I wish I would have fought harder at different seasons. Now that they're 19 and 16, I missed it. I missed it. I should have stayed and should have fought harder. I missed the window because I was so focused on building Torrance's kingdom instead of God's kingdom. I missed it. I, could, I wish I could give everything I could to go back to those moments and say, I'm fighting, I'm picking a frickin' chair, Satan. I don't care what, I'm staying in. Now the good news is God is patient, he is kind. And guess what, there's more battles coming for my 19 year old daughter. They sure are coming for my 16 year old son. And what the enemy wants to do with me and with you, it goes, dude, you're disqualified. You lost too many fights. You should just stay on the sidelines. Versus God going, well, guess what? <laughs> I can tell you, you know what not to do. You now know, keep your hands up. You now know, stay out of the corner. You now know, so get up and fight, son. It's time to get up and fight.